WebConfig is your printer's internal web page. You can use it to control various printer settings and maintenance options. Enter your printer's IP address in a web browser to access the printer's web config page. When you visit the web config page, your browser displays a security warning. If you're using Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, click Details or Advanced, then select the option to continue to the web config page. If you're using Mozilla Firefox, Select Advanced. Select Add Exception, then select Confirm Security Exception. Your printer can send email notifications when it's low on ink, when paper's out, and for a variety of other errors and printer statuses. Select the Device Management tab then select Email Notification. Enter up to five email addresses. Then check the boxes to select which notifications you want each email address to receive. When you're done, select OK. Your printer can connect to an existing Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, or LDAP server. Select the Network tab, then select Basic from the LDAP server menu. Select Use. Enter the settings for the LDAP server. When you're done, select OK. You can use the Export and Import function in WebConfig to share settings between multiple Epson printers and various Epson printer models. Select the Device Management tab, then select Export. Select the settings that you want to export. If you want to encrypt the settings file, enter a password, then enter the password again to confirm it. Select Export, then select where you want to save the settings file. Select the Device Management tab, then select Import. Select Browse, then navigate to the Settings file and select it. If you encrypted the Settings file, enter the password. Select Next. Select the settings that you want to import. Select Next. Confirm that the import settings are correct, then click OK.